guys. How's it going today? Um, I wanted to, and I'm a little bit late, but I really wanted to do Ethne's um, 31 Days of uh, Tarot Challenge. So I'm really excited to do this because I've, I've never actually really done a challenge before. So this is my first one. Yay! Um, and I really love her, Ethne and her channel. She's a uh, really high vibe and has a lot of wisdom um, to share f with everyone. So I love to take part in this, even though I'm kind of late and behind on the, on the game. So let's do it without further ado. Um, so the first question is actually a reading. And uh, for this reading, I'm going to use the Fountain Tarot. I haven't used this deck very much lately, and uh, yeah, today it's just feeling like the Fountain Tarot, so I'm, I'm gonna give it a go and, and see how this, this baby reads again. Um, so the first question is the energies of 2017. So I'm going to shuffle, shuffle her up, find out what are the energies of 2017 going to be like. I got jumpers. I don't use my jumpers though. <laughs> so, one card. Okay. Oh, crazy. We have the King of Coins. <laughs> so this actually makes a lot of sense to me um, because my husband and I were actually really wanting to branch out and build our business more. Um, and obviously, like for us, it's we're, we're kind of like the leaders of the business, the, the head of it. And um, it's something very, very new for us. Um, we've never really gone on this venture before, but we're really excited. And, you know, this King of Coins is kind of saying, you know, that foundation is going to be set up for us. Like we're, we're kind of hum hawing on the idea of um, getting an actual building or maybe it'll be um, starting off in an already, um, structured system so like for instance like we're talking about the idea of doing um, art lessons things like that so it's the idea of well do we open a studio that's like a public studio for people to come and rent space and teach we can teach lessons that kind of thing or do we start in the school system so this kind of says to me that you know the king of coins definitely someone who's already established so it's quite possible that we'll start here um, but it's kind of like a beginning of that new journey. It looks like it's going to be very, very successful for us. You know, just seeing the showering down of the coin, um, that, that definitely says like, it's going to be obviously prosperous and people are going to really like it and dig it. And it's going to, um, just grow from there. So even though it's starting at the school system, it's something that we can wet our feet with in an established building. And then we can see kind of what the demand is um, in our town or area and then grow it into an actual concrete business. So it's quite possible the energies of 2017 are going to be very focused on um, our business <laughs> and, and really making it uh, established. And there's like this foundation and um, we're feeling very abundant and generous as well to other people because um, it's nice when you have that that energy coming in for you and you're feeling really good then you can start doing things for other people as well and that's something that's already taken place for us and it always feels so good when you can give for other people and help them out so uh, that is energies of 2017 it's a really cool card yeah, I see even like all these leaves at the bottom, all that is just like, just growth, right? 
and that soul growth, that's that's growth in this 3D world and this complex. Um, I see this as um, growing in terms of um, meeting different people and and um, connecting with them with more people. Yeah, but there's a good foundation there, so it's not something that's going to just, you know, we start and it just crumbles and it falls apart. It feels like it's really going to be strong and good. So it's good. Yay! <laughs> Things are going to be awesome! And it's so exciting! Okay, so major lesson. So that was just energies of 2017. Now we're doing major lesson um, for 2017. Let's find out what's all that about. Major lesson. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, so I was talking to you about the partnership with my husband, right? We've got lovers. That's amazing. And I'm totally being drawn to this, this flame, this energy at the top. And it's just this coming together, this partnership, um, this unity and energy that we're putting together, we're co-creating and it's just glowing. It's just growing. Um, it's expansion, but not just on the physical plane, but soul plane, um, that soul evolution together. Oh, this is so exciting. So check that out. That is so cool, seeing the two cards. Perfect. So I know what we're doing this uh, this year. <laughs> Yay, business. It's so fun. It You know, it feels like play. And I think that's why I'm so excited, because it's like, oh, this is new. And it feels like play. And, and we get to grow together. And, you know, obviously you have those times of ups and downs, but... This just seems so positive, like I'm not really being focused into that shadow end as much on here. It's more just looking up, looking forward to what's to come, what we can build together. It's kind of like our dreams kind of coming true. Um, yeah. Ooh, so exciting. Okay, so that was an awesome reading. I love that. What a great exercise. Oh, I never even thought of that. Okay. Do you have time? I have time. So the next question, this is like day two. Um, so day two is the top five tarot decks of 2016. So I came to realize in looking for the tarot decks that I've been working with, I haven't been working with very many. <laughs> I had a whole bunch and I, I often like I get them and then if they're just like kind of uh, not fully resonating, then I send them on their way. But, um, so I only have a few tarot decks that I have really been working with. So my main one, I'll start with my main, main baby, is the Druid Craft. This is my absolute main, um, wonderful deck that is so lovely, so clear for readings. It's just bang on every time for me. I love the color changes between cards, that tonal difference. But there's so much detail in the artwork that you are easily pulled to it as well as the general uh, image. So mine is trimmed and I golded it as well. Kind of like this old gold look. But yeah, great deck. So that's, that's my main baby. Um, next from there, I would definitely say Tarot of the She. I used probably the most from there. So if I ever like wanted to kind of change it up <laughs> from my druid craft, which I do, like I actually get tired of the images. So I am always on a search for, oh, that one's upside down. Search for something that's like new and fresh. You know, um, it's nice to look at new art. That's for sure. Cause you're looking at these images and really detailed into them. So the Tarot of the She is awesome because it really shows that energy, the energy waves that's going on. I also really love the descriptive words at the bottom. I'm not usually really into wordy kind of stuff like the Doreen Virtue stuff where it's a big, huge paragraph. I'm not really into that, but I don't mind this, this energy word. So like this one's Winter's Bite. That to me is just, it's awesome. 
And it's kind of playful too. I like the the wordage. This one. Oh my gosh, I can't even say it. Jubilance. Jubilance. I know what it means. I just can't see it. <laughs> I'll have to get my husband to check it out for me. And Daryl, how do we say this properly? Jubilance? Hmm. It's not really a word I use often, so. But anyways, that's what I like. I like that little extra bit there. This card deck works really great for the Wheel of the Year spread. It's awesome for that because you're getting that energy, that feel of the energy behind that year. Um, I find that wordage really helps with that. But then you get lost in the image and the image uh, says so much as well. So, strong, strong deck. The next one from there, I would say, actually, is this one, the Joie de Vivre. I kept this one in my purse for the longest of times. Um, it's just a very light, friendly, fun kind of deck. Um, it's playful. It was perfect for my purse, and it's probably going to go back there because I find it being on my shelf. I don't just use it for regular random spreads um, or for clients too often, once in a while. But um, more so as a personal traveling deck. So I'll probably be putting that back in there. Because generally when you're out and about, you're not really wanting something too deep, too heavy. You kind of want something that's a little bit lighter. Um, yeah. Sorry, someone just messaged me. It was really strange. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is a really great deck. If you just want something kind of light and fun and playful, that's the one for me. Okay, next from there, um, I really use my right away a fair amount this year. Um, again, it's kind of a little bit of a lighter energy. To me, it is anyways. If it, it doesn't feel like dark, you know, it, there's definitely darker cards, but it's got a really nice balanced energy to it. And so anytime I'm finding I'm just like, mm, Druidcraft, you're kind of getting a little bit old in terms of images for me. This year I used this deck a lot um, just to kind of, it kind of expresses its, itself really clearly and it's extremely usable, you know, and it was just like a breath of fresh air basically um, from the Druidcraft because after a while she gets old. But you always go back and then you're like, oh, there's a reason why I do this, a reason why I use it. So I'm kind of hoping my Tarot Mucha is actually going to kind of be the next one for 2017. So if I ever do this challenge again, it'll probably be Tarot Mucha <laughs> that I use. So Rider Weight. And this one's the original Rider Weight. Now, last but not least, for the Tarot decks, i got to be fast. I got this at the very end of 2016. Um, and it kind of segues into the Oracle for me as well. I know it's the tarot and I understand the system of it and everything, but the dreams of Gaia to me, when I'm using it, I'm using it like an Oracle deck, I guess you could say, but it is tarot. So it's going in the tarot section. Um, I kind of do like tarot spreads with this. It's so crazy, but it's in re replacement of my Oracle. So, cause normally I would start with like, um, my enchanted map Oracle if I was doing a reading. Well, now I just usually start with this deck for my clients, um, rather than that one. It's a really great read. It's nice and cl clear, uh, as well, but it just has, um, yeah, a different feel to it than regular tarot, um, like your Rider weight tarot, I should say, uh, which I'm most familiar with. So I think that's why I'm most familiar with the Rider weight system. And so I use that for more of the tarot part, like if I'm doing a Celtic cross or anything like that, like the larger spreads, I don't generally use this. I use it for small. Anyways, that is my video. I have to be turning this off because I ran out of time and I'm going to have to edit it. Sorry, guys. Um, but anyways, you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you later. See ya. Bye.